हेलो डियर फ्रेंड्स दिस इज सुनील सोनीग्रा एंड टुडे इन द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ एलिमेंट्स ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फर्स्ट चैप्टर टाइटल्ड एज इंट्रोडक्शन टू मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एंड द डिस्कशन फॉर टुडेज प्रेजेंटेशन कवर्स द फर्स्ट ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ सिस्टम टेम्परेचर हीट फोर्स प्रेशर वर्क एंड पावर एंड टू आइडेंटिफाई द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ दीज टर्म्स इन द फील्ड ऑफ मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग नाउ फर्स्ट वी डिस्कस वॉट इज थर्मोडाइनेमिक एंड वॉट इज द थर्मोडाइनेमिक सिस्टम introduction to thermodynamics welcome everyone in this session we shall focus on understanding the concepts of thermodynamics thermodynamics so what is thermodynamics it is the study of thermal energy of a system what is it all about in thermodynamics we deal with temperature changes how energy is transferred from one system to another its effect on physical properties of substances relationship between heat and work the applications of this science are enormous thermodynamic laws and principles can be applied in various fields such as air conditioning refrigeration internal combustion engine compressors steam power plants chemical process plants and nuclear power plants note that thermodynamic laws can be applied wherever we have heat energy doing some work so this was a brief introduction of thermodynamics and its applications in the coming sessions we shall learn the laws of thermodynamics concepts of enthalpy entropy heat transfer etc so that is regarding introduction of thermodynamics now second is the thermodynamic concept what is the concept of thermodynamics let we see another clip for that thermodynamics in this session we will study macroscopic view point microscopic view point and study the concept of continuum in this subject we will study different mechanical properties of material we will also study the behavior of material when it is heated or cooled note that there are different points of view with the help of which we can study the behavior of different material let us compare macroscopic and microscopic view points microscopic view point it considers the events happening in the material at a molecular level microscopic view point is also known as statistical thermodynamics macroscopic view point in case of macroscopic view point the quantity of a material is taken into account macroscopic view point is also known as classical thermodynamics microscopic view point microscopic thermodynamics is concerned with the behavior of each and every molecule let us study the example of a gas molecule it has certain position velocity and energy these factors of the molecule change frequently due to random movement and collision with the other molecule to further simplify this consider an example of a football a football consists of certain amount of gas with specific volume if we increase the temperature around the football then the internal energy of gas molecules will increase 
this results in rapid movement of the molecules. Observe that the collision of the molecules exerts the pressure on the wall of the football, which leads to the expansion of the football. In this example of microscopic point of view, the following factors are taken into consideration. Change in position of molecule due to rapid movement and collisions with other molecules and change in internal energy of molecule due to temperature change. Whereas in macroscopic point of view, change in density and volume of the material that is gas inside the football is taken into consideration. Note that the macroscopic properties of a material can be derived from the microscopic study of that material. Concept of continuum As we know, material is composed of molecules having intermolecular spacing between them. In case of continuum, material is treated as continuously distributed. That means there exists negligible or zero amount of intermolecular space. State of continuum of a substance is known as scale of analysis. If the scale of analysis of a substance is greater, then the intermolecular spacing is negligible. On the other hand, when scale of analysis is too small, then intermolecular spacing is large. Let us study an example. Consider the mass delta M of a fluid in volume delta V surrounding the point P. Now the average density of mass is given by the ratio delta M by delta V. Let us plot the ratio of delta M by delta V against delta V. This gives the asymptote curve of density delta M by delta V. Now we will decrease the volume to a very small extent, that is to delta V dash, so that it carries few molecules which are randomly moving in and out of the considered volume. Observe that due to this, the average density fluctuates. To obtain definite value of density, we have to consider a certain limit of volume, that is delta V limit. Thus, the fluid around point P is treated as continuous and average density is given by. Therefore, the density at point P is defined as. Since in this session, we studied macroscopic and microscopic point of view. We also studied the concept of continuum. So now next term is the system. What do you mean by system? So the definition of system is a thermodynamic system is defined as a quantity of matter or a region in a space upon which attention is focused for the analysis of the problem. The study what we, will, we are doing that is called as the system. Everything external to the system is called surrounding. There is boundary between system and surrounding. It may be moving boundary or fixed boundary or it may be real boundary or imaginary boundary. System and surroundings, the system is the part of the world in which we have a special interest. A system has definite boundaries. Classification of systems. It can be, it may be open system, closed system or isolated system. Now what do you, what do you mean by open system? When mass and energy both are exchanged with its surrounding, it is called as open system like this if this is the system mass can transfer across its boundary and energy also can cross the boundary in form of heat 
So, this kind of system in which mass and energy both can transferred it is called as the open system. The examples of open system are water boiling in an open tank, internal combustion engine, boiler etcetera. In all these examples the mass and energy both can cross the boundary. Then second open system or control volume a system that involves mass and energy transfer across its boundaries is called an open system or control volume the boundaries of a control volume is called control boundaries and is fixed in shape and position the energy in the form of heat and work as well as mass can cross the control boundaries in open system. This is an example of open system in which these lines shows the control surface. This is the control volume for which our attention is interested. Here mass can come inside, it can go outside. Yes, transfer of mass is possible energy also can cross the boundary it can come inside it can go outside so mass and energy crosses the control volume boundaries it is hence it is called as the open system now closed system what do you mean by closed system when only energy is exchanged with its surrounding it is called as closed system no mass can be exchanged for example, this is the system. Here energy can transfer across its boundary in form of heat, but no exchange of mass is allowed. So that kind of system is closed system. And the examples are the water boiling in a closed tank. So in the closed tank, if water is heated, then steam cannot go outside the tank. So it is mass transfer is not allowed heating is possible so energy transfer is there evaporator condenser etc are also the examples of closed system in which the transfer of heat or energy is possible but transfer of mass is not possible closed system which is also called as control mass a system of fixed mass is called a closed system or control mass the closed system boundary does not have to be fixed no mass can cross the closed system boundary energy in the form of heat and work can cross the closed system boundary if energy is also not allowed to cross the boundary it is called as isolated system that is the third system this is an example of closed system or control mass through which here mass transfer is not allowed no mass can transfer yes energy can cross this boundary for example this is a closed container in which the mass remains constant if we are heating the pressure cooker then the steam if steam is not allowed to go outside it, it is called as the closed system the energy closes closed system boundaries and this is the another system closed system with moving boundary the boundary may be fixed or it may be moving for example in case of this example here gas is there about 2 kilogram and volume is 1 meter cube and this is a moving boundary it can move if the heat is supplied at this end the gas will be heated and as we know if gas is heated its volume increases and as the volume of this gas increases from this end to this end this moving boundary moves from here to here its mass is constant that is 2 kilogram but the volume will increase here it is 3 meter cube as the volume increases mass remains constant so it is 
control mass example and it is the example of closed system with moving boundary and this is the example of closed system with stationary boundary now third type of system that is isolated system when mass and energy both are not exchanged with its surrounding it is called as isolated system suppose this is the system and here no exchange of mass and no exchange of energy is there it is called as the isolated system for example the water put in the thermos gas filled up in a insulated chamber in these examples we know the heat cannot be transferred across the boundary and if it is closed the mass also cannot transfer so such kind of system is called as isolated system and the application of this type of system is used to store the fluid at higher pressure fluid at higher temperature or lower pressure or lower temperature to maintain the temperature and pressure of the fluid isolated system is used in mechanical engineering lpg cng etc are also the example of isolated system in cryogenic engineering also isolated system is used in which the fluid is stored at a very lower temperature in containers now thermodynamic system let me see the video of thermodynamic system thermodynamic system welcome everyone in this session we will study thermodynamic system surroundings and system boundary we will also define closed system open system isolated system and learn their examples thermodynamic system the matter or region in space that we are considering for analysis of our problem is defined as thermodynamic system surroundings or environment 